anybody else on Zoom gets recorded, it's just me. Um, hi. Yeah. I, will, I will take that to five more of you. So thank you very much. Very kind. So I do have I do have a card machine, but I've not had time to read the instructions <laughs> and actually work the blooming thing. So it's just sitting there at the moment, looking technological. And I, I have got no idea. So what we're doing is we're floating our head and we're sinking the sinking the head. So there we are. So and what, what I'll do, uh, Peter, is I'll write down when my I've got a well Robin will tell you, I've got my my um, EP launch at the folk club. On the 9th of February, if anyone fancies the drive into Cambridge late at night. But is that Friday? That's a Friday at the Golden Hind. Yeah. yeah. So, so, what are you doing? Just playing, singing? Singing, yeah, singing. Yeah, I've got, I've got 50 minutes set. It's my um, album, uh, album and band launch. So, I talked to Robin yesterday. Oh, good. Yeah, he didn't mention it. No. Well, it's not for a couple of weeks. No, yeah. yeah. Well, I've just done that. Oh, well, I've not done the posters yet because I'm still waiting for my friends Penny and Brian to play. They're amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They're some very, very good musicians. So, should be good. So, what you're doing, you want to relax me. We'll do a little bit of loosening, and then what I'd like to do is basically spend the whole class silk really. Just because I saw my teacher yesterday, I saw him twice yesterday, so I missed him this morning, unfortunately. But. <clears throat> Was it Pam in the kitchen? Pam, yeah. She made me a lovely cup of coffee. Yeah, she's very good. So she can come back. Um, no, Brenda this week? She I, no, Brenda's having the rather I done. Oh, she's having one right, okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six people here, and we've got six people on the computer. Wow, so six. 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 Yeah, as I say that. They're all small people. They're all small, yeah, they're all shrunk. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, oh, and the other thing is, Rosemary very kindly did a, an email about how to, how to make the Zoom appear on your television. This thing called Chromecasting. If you want to know how to do that, ask me, I'll forward you the email. There we are. So, technology, fantastic. So we're just doing this. So we did this a lot. Um, I went to a couple. Of, I went to Mike's class as well yesterday. Mike, it was very good and really good. So we're relaxing the shoulders, we're sinking the hips, we're floating through the head, and then watching um, out for any anything around you. We just open the arms. So it's lovely. Open through the chest. We're all breathing. They didn't leave the radio on here today, did they? No. I might, I might open the radio. Although it's not that cold. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do bounce and shake. So we'll start with bounce. Could you please just open the door a bit? Because it's I'm getting hot now. We're all getting too hot now. We're going to take our clothes off and be down to our underwear. Yeah, there should be a wedge. There should be a, a triangular wedge.
and then shake. We're doing shake now. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you done your trousers up. How did you get on with the mince pie I gave you? It was delicious, but I had to share it because it was so rich and we all loved it. It was fabulous. <laughs> I had to ditch a load. Oh no. Yeah. I'd have eaten them. Ditch them over here next time. Yeah, there's no mince pies at all in the box, and I fancied one the other day. I had to put could, I, could I find a mince pie? No. I was very disappointed. So, let me go up, 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 keep the shape going, keep the shape going, keep the shape going, keep the shape going, keep going, keep going, stretch, and release. So we're, we're breathing, breathing for now. Thirteen, four. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 10. So when I practice this one at home, I try and do this a few times a week, I do it at least a hundred. Keep breathing. Relax the arms, relax the fingers. It's a gentle way of just gently mobilising the spine.
So while you're doing this, notice the breath as it comes in and it comes out. So we'll just go through all the silk reading. So there's lots of different ways of doing this exercise. And they're all right. And ten. It's really good, the gentle music with bird song, I think that's it. So I'm, I'm going to be making music like this myself when I've got the hand pan. So, so 300 of those is just another, you know, it's 
just 250 to go. <laughs> My niece did complain. <laughs> okay. Polishing the table. Nice round shape in the arm. See the hips back. So we're doing another one. This works the hips as well as the lower back. So I thought, because you said about the hips, I thought we'll do, we'll do buy one, get one free. So put it back where you found it. And then you turn. And then I'll just show you that from the side. So it's like this. And then you always put it back first. Which is what I didn't do. But I've been in transit a lot. I've been in Canterbury and London and all sorts of places. So somewhere in between those towns are all three of my belts. So I've got a belt and my trousers at the moment. So uh, that's where my nephews at Canterbury at uni. Yeah, it's there. gorgeous. Well, I didn't really get to see any of it. Um, I, was, I was staying outside Canterbury. Beautiful though. I mean, I had a lovely time. We were, we were playing the uh, in the university, not the cathedral, but that would have been nice. Oh, oh I'd love to have yeah, a yeah. 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 So this is low, this is quite, this is low, you're not up here, that's too much, you just want to go, oh, nice. And then you go down, across, I'll show you that from the back. That's the sort of 
sense you want to be moving from when you're doing Tai Chi, this sense, whatever's going on emotionally or, you know, there's a lot of misery out there on the news and that. Whatever's that's like, yeah, your weather, whatever's going on in the weather, so that's emotional weather, societal weather, inside there's this big peaceful, this place of peace and clarity as well, so you can see very clearly it's, it's good, good, good. If you're out in nature, see what, it's quite useful for practicing your Tai Chi principles with. Very good. Marvellous. That's much better, everybody. Okay, right, now what we're going to do, um, we start here like this, and you transfer the weight, and then you turn so that the palm is up. And then you're opening the shoulder, so this softening, soften the muscles of the shoulder. And then you transfer the weight, and then it brings the hand across. So it's like you're holding up a, a hot cross bun on someone. And then you turn down, and then the hand comes down. That all the way down, but there's a slight curve. So don't forget the round shape. Nice round shape. Nice round shape. Turn. I'll turn round because then I'm facing in the same uh, direction. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So if you're every now and then, one thing I've noticed in Tai Chi is every now and then the teacher will show something. And then there'll be this sort of either collective or single person sense of being completely flummoxed. And that's okay. You just, just relax and go, oh, I'm not getting this at all. Ah, oh, okay. No, no. There's a lot to worry about. This isn't one of them. You know, just, just enjoy doing it dreadfully and, and just be very relaxed and by doing it over and over again eventually it's like when we had the scaffolding up here wasn't there the scaffolding comes off and then, then you do the movement and it's better to try something than to stand there like a, like a rabbit in um, headlamps not that I've seen a rabbit I have seen a bar now, and I thought it was a plastic bag, but just in case I slowed my car down on the way to Plow and Fleet for a folk session in Morning Sea. And their bar now in headlights, that is definitely something I've actually witnessed. So I had bar now, it had yeah. something, and it wasn't going to move. No. So we had to get a plastic yeah, bag out of the car. Yeah. Because they got claws on them at least. Yes. And, um, but as soon as we got close enough to put the blanket over it, it decided to let go of what it got. And oh, it lost its so we didn't get past. Yeah. Um, no, this bar now, maybe it had a mouse or something, but it was just sitting there in the road. We've changed hands. Yeah, we've changed hands. Oh, we've changed hands. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Change hands. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Thank, well spotted. Well spotted. <laughs> so, see, it's a good job I've got my students with me in this room, isn't it? Otherwise. You'd have just not even noticed that I'd sneakily changed hands while you blinked. And you're so blissed out you couldn't tell. So we just, we're really, we're not, that's it. So the other, and um, so I got out of the car and it wasn't a plastic bag, it was a bar now. And I said, excuse me, this is not a safe place for you to be, mate. And it, or maybe it got hit by a car or something, and then it kind of lolled off along the road. And I said, well, no, I hope it was all right, but I was very, very, very glad I stopped. <laughs> I was very glad. Yeah, that's marvellous. So what you want to do, just let the arm go, let the arm go, but keep a gentle curve. And then it's like you're moving through water. So this bit's like you're moving through water, and then it comes up. And that's the, there we are. I think there is definitely 
there have been some improvement just by doing it over and over again. Very good. Okay, let's, let's relax and shake hands. It merges your legs. You'll have noticed. It really merges your legs. It downloading. Downloading. Very good. I'm going to stop for a quick because um, I'm still I'm still not quite. Um, it's just a, a bit of a break. Yeah, we're having a bit of a water break. Water break, everybody. Yes. And then we're going to do more silk breathing because I'd like to do the one. I'd like to do that that one that she does because I want to do the. Um, it's a variation on silk breathing number one. It's a variation on silk breathing number one. And, uh, Oh, that's lovely. Um, and one thing that really struck me about Master Chen, uh, Grandmaster Chen's son, Chen Chen Jun, was just how much space I felt I had. I was there for the whole day, uh, I think it was 10 o'clock till 5 and a bit, because he actually overran each day, because he wanted to, you know, get, get stuff in front of We'd, we'd do it for about 40 minutes or so, then we'd stop for 20 minutes. And then we'd do a bit more, and then we'd stop, we'd do a bit more. And then the people that wanted to carry on um, would practice in the downtime. But actually, giving this stuff space to work through the body, it seems to go even quicker than if you just train and train and train it. They just, I mean, like what you'll notice in the music we're listening to that my friend Nick's playing, there's a lot of space in the music. There's a lot of space. So it's. it's you're, you're making space in all your joints so that you feel a bit bigger. And you're giving yourself space to do things in a time. So you're not in a hurry at all to try and work. You must get this, because our, our, our natural instinct is to grab. Like when we were babies, we have this thing we can grab. And it is useful from a, you know, the, the um, your limit, uh, your um, fight flight response is really useful when you're being chased out by an axe murderer. But it's the same system if you get a letter from the bank, if you get a letter from, from the um, DWP or whatever. And, um, or you've got a neighbour that's been a bit aggy. It's the same system, so what you've got to do is feel the things, go, oh, that's my, my fight flight, great, it's working, that's fabulous, right, I can relax now, because there is the same two photographs me. And then it's just about, and so when you get, when you get given a new move, that's the same system that gets set oh. off. Or like in, in Mastermind or whatever, not that I watch, or the quiz show. There's a quiz show and then the things drop down. We watch it in the care home. Yeah. And then someone will get asked a really easy question and they can't get it. Yeah. Because the fight flight system has cut off the sensible bit of the brain, the prefrontal cortex. Yeah. So if you find yourself feeling flummoxed, yeah. you want to calm down. And it doesn't matter if you get the move or not. You want to calm your system down. Yeah, let's go back to that one. That's a good one. While I'm waffling. And um, it really works. So we are slowly working towards a really lovely exercise that whatever I learned off over and I liked it so much. I can't actually do it as well as her, but I like it so much I'm going to do it anyway. We can all learn it as we go along. So it's one of those, it's called. Um, Skin of your teeth teaching, I do a lot of that. So I I go, so you come across and then you feel a stretch along your back, like an elastic band, and then you so it actually goes slightly behind. If you look, before we were keeping in front, this one you open that, you open the shoulder joint, and it's like you're chucking something. It's like you're nuzzing it. Um, Sometimes I like to do things a bit literally, so I'll actually pick up some leaves or something and practice chucking. I was doing that just to get that feel of the elastic mandolin. And then it comes across. So you have a stretch that way and then a release. Stretch, release. So this is a variation of silk reading number one. And also the arms are higher. Normally we keep everything shoulder height and waist height, but the arms are actually higher. Hands higher than shoulders, quite high. 
which is a bit weird. Because, like, you know, the teacher goes, no, 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 it's got to be like this. And then she goes and does that. So. Ah, and we're all breathing. So we're feeling that lovely opening feeling in the shoulder joint. Oh, that's wonderful. And then you go to this nice, calm place. Right, let's try the other side. So we start here, and then that rotate, rotate. It's a bit like the, um, that one. And then you transfer the weight, and then the arm follows. Feel the stretch across the back, transfer the weight, arm follows. So, out. That's almost perfect, but start from here. Would it help to fry it up? I mean, yeah. yeah. Get, get, 
that's how I'm doing the video, and they've got the blossom going on. Isn't it?
Actually, I like all the animals. And they'll pack her, it'd be an old pack of here, and they just stroke it like that, and the ears. You know, oh, they're brilliant. Then they're, they're faces. Oh, they're wonderful. Alpacas. Does the alpaca still live near here? The alpaca fur? No. Like that. And then like this, look. Back palm up. Palm up and relax the shoulder. And then this is palm out. Like so it comes up like that. Now forward. Fingers. Forward. Fingers forward. Hand, palm to the side. Okay, so. Like that. Then you go towards the bendy arm. Push away the mat. Oh, sink down more. Sorry, that was rubbish. We go down. Down. Let's do that. Turn towards the bendy arm. Turn towards the straight arm. Rotate the body, then release the spring. One. Two. Three. Oh, actually, no, it's palm in. Sorry, I've got it confused with another. Long arm, bendy arm. Let's get this right. Sorry, I was thinking about another exercise at the same time. Very silly. <laughs> Don't do that. Then long arm. Bend the arm, do the rotation, release, push away the mountain. So if you're pushing away the mountain, let's do the easier version just so we can get that last bit. So look, right, like this, open. So we've got the mountain in front of us. So you sink your hips down and back and push away the mountain. Push away the mountain, that's it. So you know, get good structure when you're pushing away a mountain. Otherwise, the mountain won't move. Push away the mountain. Boof. And you're Bang, like that. So it's very similar to that movement um, when uh, Mark got us to put a two pound coin in each hand. And we did this one, the, the, the yellow dragon. <laughs> yellow dragon. Um, shows its claws or something, I think it's called that, where it came up like that, and then you, you threw the two pound, oh it's great fun watching the two pound coins you've got. Okay, so, we'll just do it like this, it open, feel that shoulder joint open, and then sink it, push away the mountain, so more like that, pushing away. Bang. It's, a, it's actually a, it's a block and a push, Oof. it's a, it's a, yeah, <laughs> nasty things, great, <laughs> so, there we go, like this, push, so that's the last bit, okay, here we go, giraffe, two, three, Long arm first, then bend the arm, then push away the mountain. And it's got this real connection. You feel the connection in the body. Turn, turn. It's really good for working your brain, mainly by confusing it. And then, yep, for a nice confused brain. There we are, Margaret. Just enjoy the feeling of flummox, flummoxness. If that's such, is that such a... Is that an adjective or a verb? Anyway, how we go? I've got a friend who's trying to improve my English. It's quite funny. Okay. You're all breathing. <sighs> so even if you can't do any of the middle bit, just just do this bit, and you go ah. Oh. There you go, just do that bit, I'll be completely far flint and I'll just see that, I'll assume you've done all the other bits correctly. And then it's all good, it's all good, there we are. Oh, see, it's simple. So, three circles, but we won't, we won't do it in the deep stance. Oh gosh, it's like, uh, I'll come a bit closer to the zooming people, look. Small circle, circle number one. Circle shape number two. 
circle number three. Yeah. One. Two. So I'll do it facing front so you can see the arms. Not that that helps much. And actually it's not the arms, it's the middle bit. Guess what? This is happening. Let's go back to that. And I'll show it from the back. Three circles. Have your right hand on top, left hand on the knee. And one, two, so that's the nice thing I love the nice thing I love Starting up in about a month or so, I think. Maybe the next So don't worry if you've not got this at all. It's really difficult. I've just been doing this a very, very, very long time, which is why it looks like it's really easy. It's really easy, actually it's really easy. Very, very easy. Simple. But I, I just got it straight away. I just watched this, I watched this middle bit and I followed the middle bit and then my hands kind of just did it by themselves. And then to finish off our trio of confusion, we've got a triumvirate of confusion here at the moment. Middle blinded due to popular request. One. Comes back two, and then you've got this. There we are. Look. See, it's only got two things in, and then three. Oh. So yeah, that's why video in this is great, because you can watch the video. <laughs> And watch it over and over again and still not be able to do it, but maybe you will. Well, like bring it back the way, and then you've got this little whoosh, that helps. If it helps, sometimes sound effects can help. Whoosh, see, it works, doesn't it? One, then whoosh, it's like Victor Borger's School of Tai Chi. Whoosh. So, yes, for those of you that train with Mike, I'm more fun. <laughs> oh, well done. Two. So this is the first setting of that. Marvellous. Okay, let's, let's just... Wow. So that was... I didn't even get around all the silk reading. You know, we didn't, we didn't do... Um, we didn't do um, that one. We didn't do that one. About that. <laughs> we didn't do. Uh, we didn't do this one. Um, one, two, one, two. We didn't do that one either. Um, so I'm sorry for you know. We need another whole hour of this, but we haven't got that because the choir's about to arrive. It's quieter, yeah, yeah, because the, the piano and the, the, the choir music can't be there for one week, so they're having to do two weeks in a row. Yeah. Something like that. I was paying attention because I've got made coffee, you see, so it's all good. Oh, we didn't do that one, did we? Oh, let's do that one now. Yeah, I like that one. This is one of my favourites. One of my favourites. Okay, batter, batter. I'm going to do bats and shape. And then we'll do triple heater. And then embrace the flow. So I like triple heater as well. That's a good move. Okay, bounce, 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 bounce. So this one I find much easier. If you give the image that I work with is you're three years old and you've just found out that it's going to be cake. <laughs> It still has that effect on me. So, because last Tuesday I spent my whole, my supposed birthday, I didn't even know, okay, I was on soup and ginger tea 
I'm feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> so my friends in Exeting, they bought me some cake, and my friends in the posh house of Madden New Road, they bought me some cake, and I'm seeing them on, on Tuesday, uh, on Thursday. So I'm very, very... Well, we could eat three hours of Tai Chi yesterday. I'll burn the cake, I'll have made a space for the cake. Okay, shake out. <laughs> and then back to that one. So if you if you can't remember anything, just do those three exercises. It will really make the Tai Chi work very well. Okay, here we go. Triple beta. Lift, lift the heels off the ground if you want, or you can just keep your heels on the ground. And stretch. There we go. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Thanks so much for coming on Zoom, that was marvellous. Um, yeah, I'll just stop the recording.